Hello, this is Makeda of the Boston Badoofs, and today I'm going to be going over my Week 4 Battle vs. Team Tempest, hosted by uh, Kiwi. And uh, before I get into the battle and the specs, I want to just want to have a side note that I, I feel like uh, I've been performing very poorly this season. Like, I've had a couple good battles. Like, our last week battle, I messed up on the last turn. I should have clicked Explosion, and I would have won because it wasn't... You know, I, I was under the impression at the time that it was my turn timer but it was actually the game timer because it was 30 minutes um but if i had just clicked explosion my landorus would have more hp than the registeel and i would have won uh so that's unfortunate i feel like uh i've played slightly poorly overall my team isn't the most ideal so while i would love to win i want to get at least one win this season i'm not going to take my teams as seriously for these last two weeks uh, because I don't believe that I'll make it into playoffs unless uh, I beat this guy and he loses next week, and the people on top don't like get too oh, like too ahead. But as you can see, my team, my opponent this week is undefeated, so we'll have to try pretty hard. And that being said, I am bringing Persian because I wanted to bring Persian, not because it's gonna be any usefulness. So uh, we'll get into that in a second. But so starting off with my team. Um, I am bringing Choppleberry Physical Hydragon this week because one, I've never brought in Physical Hydragon, and two, I just feel like it's going to be funny and definitely catch him off guard. Um, the acrobatics is great because I can set up a Dragon Dance if he brings in his Hitmon top and then acrobatics him as he mock punches me uh, for the kill. So I'm excited to make this to make this work, but honestly. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Originally, I had Grassy Seed, and I thought that, that was a great option uh, to give me that extra defense boost. But it's not guaranteed that he brings Rillaboom. And I'll go over his team at the end, because uh, this is what I expect him to bring. But he has some other very great options that he can bring. So uh, Next up, I have my Weezing. It is Rocky Helmet again, because he is my physical switch in, and he has knockoff on a lot of things. And it's the thing that I really care the least about taking a knockoff besides Mew, which I'll get to next. Um, but yeah, I have Dazzling Gleam and Flamethrower because he does have a Ferrothorn. I need that fire coverage. It's the only thing on my team that has it this week. Uh, Dazzling Gleam is there to hit the Curum if it's coming in on the switch because this thing cannot live a Ice Beam from a Curum, especially if it's choice specs. Uh, if he doesn't bring Drapion, then Toxic Spikes is going to be great. He has two spinners, potentially, but I need that Toxic Spikes just to maybe hit the Galvantula or something uh, to break that Sash. And he has no cleric this week, so I'm gonna try and take advantage of that with the status, uh, uh, with toxic spikes. And I, you can see I have will o' wisp as well. So one of those is gonna go on something. That's that's the plan. Uh, next up, I am bringing cosmic power mew again, and because uh, this time I have Colberberry to take any dark attack, um, I almost went mental herb just in case I get taunted. But at the end of the day, uh, I feel like that was an anomaly. I should have won that match. Uh, if he didn't have taunt so if they bring taunt this week that's fine but I'm not too worried like if it has any if it's gonna be on anything it's gonna be that Drapion and I can kill Drapion pretty easily and I don't take his hits um, like his hits don't hit me that hard uh, but I also have Landorus to switch in and Ice Fang doesn't do too much especially after Intimidate so yeah I'm, uh, I'm excited to make this work hopefully I can do that Next up, I have Persian, and I have Fake Out Double Edge Knockoff U-Turn. Knockoff and U-Turn just great utility. It's really fast. It also means everything on his team that's not Scarfed. Um, fake Out is great. Uh, I am Protective Pads because if he brings his Ferrothorn, then uh, I don't want to. I don't really care. I'm just gonna get some damage off on it, and then you turn out and switch into something like Weezing. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be fun to use this week. Uh, the priority is gonna be nice, and because he has no healing on anything except he has Roost on Curum and uh, Grassy Terrain on Rillaboom, and I think Recover on Playdoll, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the trip is just gonna be nice. Next up, I have my Lucario. I am Inner Focus, Life Orb, because uh, in the past he has shown that he likes to use Fake Out a lot. Um, Nasty Plot is probably not going to be used, but it is there to get some good extra damage on anything. After Nasty Plot, I believe Vacuum Wave kills uh, Curum. Shadow Ball is to hit that Clay Doll, kills after Nasty Plot. And Aura Sphere is just great. Uh, stab, uh, hard hitting attack that will do a lot of work. So at the end of the day, I think I'm sacking this to uh, 
Hitmon top, and then going into Hydreigon to set up. So that's the plan, but we'll see how that works out. Next up is my Landorus. It is Earthquake U-Turn, Knockoff, and Defog because this week he does have the Rillaboom. So Defog's nice to get rid of that grassy terrain and make sure my Earthquakes are doing full damage. And U-Turn does like 50% to a Rillaboom, so that's great. And Knockoff again is just great utility. I need to get that Focus Sash off that Galvantula, so... Uh, that's my team. Uh, his other options, he has a lot of other Pokemon that he could bring. He has Braviary, which I don't really see doing much, but it is there. He also has Volcanion, Emolga, Ferrothorn, and uh, Morgrem. Out of those four, I'm thinking like four. Ferrothorn is definitely the most plausible. The only reason I think Galvantula is coming, because Webs doesn't really do much to me, is because uh, it's a great answer to my Mew. And that's pretty much it. It's his best answer to my Mew once I get set up. Uh, the bug buzz hits through sub and stuff, so that's what I'm expecting from him. Maybe Ferrothorn over Galvantula, but overall it's going to be an interesting battle, and um, I'll get right into it. So wish me luck. I need to win at least once this season. I I've fallen from grace, so let's see how it goes. Alright, so our battle has begun, and he brought the Volcanian, and he brought the... Ferrothorn, but he did not bring Galv and Hitmontop. That's great. Makes the Choppleberry kind of useless, but that's okay. Um, it's the least of my worries, to be honest. smaller he's a big dragon there we go that looks better <laughs> so we'll have to see how this goes I'm not expecting this to go very well to be honest um, but there's no hit my top which means Persian's main thread is gone so that's good He's probably going to leave Ferrothorn if I was to guess, or Claydol. Hopefully it's not too loud. It is pretty loud, actually. Yep, he left Claydol. That's fine. gonna fake out right away. He's gonna go into Ferrothorn. Yep, he's gonna reveal that it's uh, effective pads. If he doesn't get recovery here, then I know it's uh, either Rocky Helmet or Aka Berry. Rocky Helmet. At least from the, uh, I mean, I don't know if it, the protective pad says anything about Rocky Helmet, actually. But, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna guess Aka Berry. Why is this so loud? Hopefully that's a little better. Leech Sheep's annoying. What does he bring into this? I'm just gonna click Will-O-Wisp. Cause this makes it a... Uh, if I burn the Ferrothorn it makes uh, a complete setup fodder for me later. If he goes into Kiram, that's a good play by him. Maybe it's Lumberry too. 
Knock off? Barrel ball, okay. I think I'm just going to go straight into Mew right now. Because he might just attack, and if he switches, then I get to see what he brings in. And I don't want Weezing to take too much damage. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna sub to scout what he does. I really don't. I didn't practice for Volcanion. You just fix him up, and that's fine. I don't know what to bring into this though. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna cosmic power. And see how much the steam eruption does. Flamethrower? Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Honestly, that's okay though. It's really annoying, but I think I can uh, I can make that work. It's better than a toxic, that's for sure. I think Steam Eruption only gets five PP. It's probably why he's clicking. A flamethrower right now, but I think after plus two, I'm not worried about it. So it's just I'm already burned, and I already know I outspeed. Please don't crit me. So I'm just gonna play in the long game right now. I could probably sub soon. The fact that he hasn't switched into Drapion makes me think he doesn't have Taunt. I still don't feel comfortable clicking sub. I think I'll do one more Cosmic Power. Okay, that's fine. Perfect, he's a shiny Drapion, which means he looks awesome. If he crits me, that's annoying. If he taunts now, I don't know why he waited so long. Oh, I outspeed. Assault Vest, maybe? Scope Lens, possibly? I think I sub and I hope that he doesn't crit me. Because I should survive. Or the sub should survive. Yeah. So I'm gonna roost this turn. The burn really is unfortunate, especially since it was on the flamethrower and not the steam eruption. Ugh. This will break it. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for the body press. I 
I'm gonna crit this time. I have the scope lens now. Yeah, it doesn't do anything because I'm burned. It's annoying. Okay, black sledge, not a soul vest. I'm kind of just waiting on the crit at this point. I feel like it's coming. I <laughs> I feel bad doing this, but it was like the best option I had. And it's I keep getting such bad RNG with status and stuff, like I that was flamethrower. Like steam eruption I wouldn't be mad that I got burned. But flamethrower? Alright, so maybe he's not scope lens and he just got lucky. Because every subsequent one has not been a crit. Or he's getting bad luck now. Come on, crit! I just have to wish for the crit now, like honestly, I need some good RNG. I don't kill Clay all though. Crit? No, okay. Maybe it's not scope lens. If I had sword power, I mean it wouldn't work on Drapion, but it would be really nice for the rest of his team because it wouldn't lower the damage from burn. I think I'm at 5, right? I don't remember. Honestly, I'll wait for him to crit me. I, I don't know. I'm not even in a winning position because of the burn. Although the body press says a lot. And I probably still kill the Kyurem. Two more. Thank God the crit was on the berry. I'll say that. If 
he likes the drapey on here dive and I can get toxic spikes up for for free basically because his spinner is definitely played all but I don't have to worry about it being absorbed anymore which is good everything else except fair thorn and played all will get poisoned two more body presses and this thing dies he's really thinking Oh, I thought I crit for a second. Crit me? Uh -oh. I roost and then I body press next turn. Because he doesn't have a really good way to kill me anymore. It's just going to be annoying because of the, uh, the burn. I feel bad because I hate the games where it goes to timer because of stall and shit, but like, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Does this kill? Oh, the, the iron barbs is gonna hurt, but he's also burned, and honestly, I don't want to use this Mew any longer, so I'm just gonna body press. See how much it does, and don't tell me if he's Rocky Helmet or not. I think I still kill after, uh, it is Rocky Helmet. I still kill after the Leap Seed, I think. Because of the burn. Yeah, since I'm burned, I just gotta let this thing die, because now that I'm Leap Seeded, it's just gonna be too much of a problem. I mean, if you're smart, you go to Claydol right now. But honestly, I I just gotta let this thing die. If I get rid of the Ferrothorn, that's great. Nice! Okay. And I get uh, a free switch and something. Good job. He doesn't have a good switch into my uh, Persian anymore. Except, I mean, Rillaboom's gonna be annoying. I think I let Persian die though. Because I don't want to switch anything into this, and I think Double Edge is going to do a lot of damage. Like, obviously not that much damage, considering how little that did. But enough for me to uh, be happy with how low it is for, like, Landers fighting it. Yeah, Hatch's good. What does he do? And the good news is I can't get burned if this lives. No, nah, okay. I didn't think I'd live that. It's not choice, so I should outspeed, right? I should live, right? I'm bulky. So I should kill with Earthquake, but he's probably going to switch into Rillaboom or Claydol. Claydol is probably the best bet, because I'll just defog the, the grass away. 
Yeah. Play value. That's okay. It probably has Ice Beam, so I can't stay in here. I think I go in here on the Ice Beam, then I set up Nasty Plot. Yeah. Don't freeze me. Although, to be fair, if I got frozen, I deserved it. <laughs> oh, I took off the Sugar Berry. I had Sugar Berry on this originally. So this Earth Power might kill. Does not kill. The good news is, Shadow Ball should do a huge chunk. Even if I die to Life Orb. Nice. Okay, okay. Oh, I didn't die to Life Orb. Wait on kills Lucario. So his whole team is low. I feel good about just going into uh, Landorus and clicking knockoff. Actually, I know he has Ice Beam. But we'll see if he wants to save this or not. I should have gone Yachi Berry, man. Outrage, let's go. Grassy Seed would have been amazing. Okay, it died. Thank God. What's his best bet here? I think I get three kills. Assuming Outrage hits all three times, because if I get confused the second time, it's going to be a problem. Grassy, uh, Grassy Guide should not kill me. If he goes for the Drain Punch, um, I think he dies. Communicating. Um. Oh, <laughs> I was so confused. I forgot it auto clicks it. <laughs> he went for the. Oh, I don't think the crit mattered, but that is unfortunate. Oh, and I only got the two turn. Oh no! That's bad. My whole team dies to, um... Dies to cure him. So I'm just gonna click Outrage and get- and pray. Please, RNG, please be on my side once this season. Please, just once. That's all I ask. Please. Please. Oh, thank God. Please kill him now. Let's go! Hydragon, I had faith in you the whole time. I, <laughs> I had faith the whole time. I wasn't doubting you at all. Let's go!
He was telling me that the crit mattered. I'll have to check the calcs after. But I'd rather him click a move. Um, he says that it mattered. I think it was a roll regardless. It said he said it was 89 to 103. Thank you, Hydragon, for not betraying me. All right, I want to match this season. I'll take it. Um, 3-0, I believe. Yeah, 3-0. If Mew wasn't burned, could have been a 6-0 probably, but that's okay. Um, GG, man. Sorry for the uh, stall. I, I'm sorry if you got tilted with that crit. That's just the game we play. Uh, but it was still a roll regardless. But uh, yeah, um, GG, man.